Have you ever made a wrong assumption? You assumed something was the way it was because of what you know, because of what you experienced, and then you found out you were wrong? Well, this is really the story of the resurrection day of Jesus Christ and two men that were walking to the city of Emmaus. These men were walking along, and Jesus appears and walks with them. And in his nature, he asks them, what is it they're talking about? They assumed that Jesus was the only one in Jerusalem that didn't know what was going on. That Jesus, who they thought was their Messiah, was arrested and crucified and died. They assumed that Jesus didn't know. They assumed that the Messiah had died and that there was no hope. They assumed incorrectly. Jesus, in his true loving and teaching fashion, taught them. It says in the Gospel of Luke that beginning with Moses and the prophets, he began to teach them about how the Old Testament pointed to Jesus. You see, Jesus began to catechize them. He began to take away their assumptions by showing them from God's Word that everything in the Old Testament pointed to Jesus as the Messiah. That He was like Moses, but yet greater. Moses taking God's people out of slavery, and Jesus taking us out of slavery of sin and death by His death. And by His glorious resurrection, we have a new and a living hope. Jesus kept teaching these disciples. And at the end of the day, when they were ready to depart, Jesus acted like He was going further. They invited Him to stay. He stayed with them. He became kind of like the host of the meal, breaking the bread and giving thanks. And in that meal there, their assumptions had changed. Now Jesus revealed to them who He was, that He was the Christ who died, that He is the Christ who has risen from the dead, that He is the fulfillment of the Old Testament, and that He is the one now that lives and has forgiven us and is Israel and our Messiah. And we have a lot of assumptions. We assume maybe we just have to go to church on Christmas and Easter. We assume when we're done with confirmation, we've learned it all and we don't need to go back. We assume that we have a pretty good understanding on the Scriptures. But it is through our Savior and through His Word and promise that those assumptions are put aside. And we see every time we gather with Jesus in word or in sacrament, in church or in worship or in Bible study or confirmation, he continues to teach us. He continues to draw us closer to the hope and promise that we have in Jesus for us, risen from the dead, for the forgiveness of all of our sins.